Hi guys, my name is Candy, so also go by Confident Candy. If you are new here, thank you for choosing me to watch. If you are subscribed, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about depression. If you'd like to know more, keep watching. Many people think that depression is just that you're in a bad mood, someone pissed you off, someone annoyed you, and therefore you're just feeling low and you feel like you want to cry. That might not always be the case. That just scratches the surface. Depression is a constant low mood that may impact your everyday life. Yes, everyone has their ups and downs, but with depression, it is long term. In the UK alone, depression affects one in 10 people in their lifetime. There are several different types of depression, including seasonal affective disorder, also known as SAD. This type of depression may occur during the winter months, prenatal depression, which occurs during pregnancy, postnatal depression, which occurs once a woman has given birth, dysmythmia, which is a mild depression that lasts more than a period of two years. What is depression caused by? Like many other mental disorders, there is no single cause for depression. However, our biology as well as our environment may increase one's risk of developing depression. Who may develop depression? According to research, women are more likely than men to develop depression. Although there is no single cause, risk factors include abuse, side effects of medication, biology, and grief significantly increases the risk of developing depression. Some people may say that you cannot prevent a mental illness, but if you have protective factors in place, such as a support group, access to therapy, if you have been exposed to trauma, these significantly reduce the risk of developing depression. Symptoms of depression include irregular and or change in sleep pattern, loss of interest in hobbies, decreased appetite, poor concentration and difficulty making decisions, pessimism, and that's just to name a few. For depression, there are different types of treatment available. Counseling. This is a useful way for you to vent, to get things off the chest, and for your counsellor to help you to find possible causes of your depression. Keeping things locked up inside isn't healthy, and we need to be able to get things off our chest without feeling guilty or judged for doing so. Self-care. You guys already know how much I love self-care, and I've talked about it in many videos. Self-care means doing things that make you feel good and boost your mood. This can include journaling, which is a healthy way of writing how you feel, write what bothered you today, write about your ups and downs, to see if you can identify possible triggers that have, may have caused your mood to change. Another type of journaling is having a gratitude journal. This can be having a list of things that you write down that you're grateful for. It can be something small, such as you're grateful for your job, you're grateful for your family, your dog, your cat, the sky, you know, just to give you a perspective that things are not always negative and things do not always appear to be the way you think they are. If you'd like to know more about journaling, make sure you click the link above. Medication. For some people swear by medication, however, there are side effects involved. So do make sure you do your research and get in contact with a professional, your GP or your doctor, to ensure that you talk about all the other alternatives and to see if you will be a potential candidate to receive medication. Antidepressants are widely popular for treating depression. They are said to increase the chemicals in your brain known as neurotransmitters which help to boost your mood. Although antidepressants are fast acting, they do not target the cause of the depression, just the symptoms. I myself have experienced symptoms of moderate and severe depression and anxiety. How this showed itself in me was I was, this is during my party day, so don't judge me. And if you judge me, I don't care. But I used to drink a lot and it, that was a way to mask over how I was feeling. Uh, I used to sleep a lot, I used to get really tired easily and my sleeping pattern was all over the place. I would go to the club when on a school night, I would come home tipsy, mind you, and then I would sometimes jump in the shower and go to the gym and after the gym I'll go to uni and I did that for a while it is not healthy I wasn't getting a lot of sleep sometimes I was getting three four hours of sleep a day which is not good and it did affect my uni I was falling asleep during lectures I struggled to concentrate and forget about making decisions I'm decisive I'm indecisive as it is to throw in depression in the mix it was just a lot but I'm so glad that I was able to get help I received CBT and it has made me realize that you know maybe i can work on things 
that are going on inside of me instead of turning to outside devices in order to make me feel better. They are only short term and I need to get to the target of the issue. And so I did that with counselling and with therapy and I definitely recommend going to therapy. Even though you might not feel like you need it, some people may say that you do. And I do believe that we all should have something to do to counter our problems and face them head on instead of putting our head in our sand and just pushing it to the side or sweeping it under the rug, dealing with it, waiting to deal with it another time. Life is too short. If we haven't had 2020 to prove that to us, like we need to make sure that we are good mentally and that if that means cutting things and people out of your life, then so be it. We need to have boundaries for ourselves to protect ourselves, protect our mental well-being, and we need to fight and continue to fight each and every day to live the best life that we can. So I hope this video was insightful. If you believe you're you suffering from depression and anxiety, do make sure you get help. Reach out to someone in the local community, tell your parents, tell your loved ones, speak to the doctor and get professional help. I really do urge people to do that and especially in the black community when we feel like we need to be a strong black woman or everything is going to be all right or what I'm dealing with is nothing. Like there's people in the world that are much worse off than I am. That's not a reason to not get help. Just because you have counselling or you go to therapy that doesn't make you weak that makes you strong because you're actually fighting and you're just like you know what i'm gonna put myself first regardless of what people may say about me you have to live life for you so i do hope you choose you and you choose and you make your well-being and your mental well-being a priority every single day thank you so much for watching take care and i'll see you soon